now dear students let us understand that if we have to use loops and using the loops we have to write a even driven program which will print some of first 10 natural numbers and the numbers are generated using loop now loop is what you will write a code of a program which will be executed again and again finite number of times finite number of times means you know how many times the loop has to be executed suppose if i require 10 natural numbers that means it will give me the first one i will start with one next time i should get the value as two next time i should get the value as three so here the value is calculated or added one by one and the program control goes up goes down goes up goes down for 10 times to generate 10 different numbers which are natural numbers which are sequential and then it will as soon as it generates the number it should add the number so i have two parts to be thought into this program when i want to write such a program the first part is a functional part where i should use the loop and the second part is a form part where i must design a button on a form as soon as i click that button my loop should start my function should start start the loop start adding the numbers as soon as the final value of the loop is reached it should stop and should display me the sum so taking into consideration now students let us design a program to answer the question which is being asked now dear students when you are writing an html program i am damn sure that you are going to open the notepad first and the first line will be html because javascript is an insertion into an html page so i should write my first statement as html if you forget to write this statement the code will not work thereafter head and generally head is a section where you define your all preprocessor programs okay so i am going to put my functional part over here or i can write my functional part into the body section so here in this program i am writing your title that means i am giving a name which comes on a title bar closing the title bar by slash title there i am closing the head that means dear students i am going to write the program into the body section so i am going to make you a familiar with the concept of how to write a program into the body section thereafter after closing head i am defining here script language is equal to javascript here sentence is missed that is i should start here with the body because i am going to define the program into the body so when i will write the program and i will run the program i will do this change over there you should write your body thereafter you should write script language is equal to javascript open the braces now here i am defining function sum 10 you can assign any name to a function i am assigning a name sum 10 over here open bracket and close bracket the keyword function tells that my function will start here now opening braces of the function thereafter i am defining two variable one is i and second one is total i is an index of the loop which will give me variant values very different different values and every time the total is updated with these values now dear students don't forget to write total equal to zero because some of the language the compilers are storing a garbage value and once the garbage value is stored and you added it with your index that is generated as a number the different value as an answer you will get so it is always better to initialize your total variable as zero now i am writing your document dot write first 10 natural numbers are after this i am going to write a loop which will generate 10 natural numbers so for generating the loop i am using a key command that is for for is a key command to generate the the loop 
Now here the for has got three parameters. The first parameter is initial value of index that is I am writing here i is equal to 1. Thereafter I am writing here i is less than or equal to 10. That means I know this loop is going to start with 1 and this loop is going to end at 10 value. The loop will be executed when every time i plus plus takes place. i plus plus is a short form for i is equal to i plus 1. So dear students, when I write for loop, it has to be accompanied by the three parameters that is initialization of loop, condition where the loop is going to get terminated. So here the loop will run until the i's value is lesser than 10 and every time the execution comes up, the i's value will be incremented by 1 each time. So this is a concept of loop. I hope so. Now it is clear. Now let us go and develop the loop. So when I write this for statement, I should start it with a brace. Here I am writing total is equal to total plus i. What does that mean? Here initial value of total is what? 0. And when I say total is equal to total plus i, so total will now become what? i's value is 1. So total is equal to 0 plus 1. So 1 will be stored into the memory into a variable called total. Now automatically my condition is checked over here. If i's value is less than 10, then it will increment i by 1. That is now i's value was 1, it will here become what? 2. So automatically the loop will write here 2. But before printing that, I am doing here what? I am writing here a statement to print the value of index of i. So 1 will be printed here. Thereafter, my braces is closed. When my brace is closed, then there and there only after it will check the condition here. And once the condition is checked and i is less than 10, okay, i will be incremented by 1. And these loop will be repeated how many times? 10 times. And 10 times, the first time i will become 1, the next time i will become 2. And here it is, i's value was 1. So 2 plus 1, it becomes 3. And 3 will be stored. Next time the 3 value will be repeated here and it will add here 3, 3 will and 3 will becomes 6. This is how the loop go on incrementing automatically and will add the sum of all the numbers which are generated by the loop into a variable total. Now my job is over here, my function is over. So I will write here document.writebr to leave a line to take my program to the next line and thereafter I am printing the document.write with a total variable called sum actually I am writing a documented sum is equal to and within the double quote so this message will be printed plus thereafter I am writing a variable called TOT now TOT will contain the sum of the values which are generated into the loop and that is the sum of 10 natural numbers here my function is over so I am closing the braces of the function here I have opened the function here I have closed the function and thereafter I should close my script bracket the script is closed with the script tag thereafter my body will be also closed here i should close the body not start the body i should close the body i will do this rectification while i will run the program thereafter i will write here 10 natural numbers into an h1 heading starts here form will start here only the button i require because i don't require a form name here now only button so i am writing a code input type equal to button value is equal to click 10 natural numbers on click i am calling the function sum 10 here that's all thereafter the form is closed and the html script is closed now little bit Changes are there into the program. Let us go and do the changes into the code. See, here I started the head, I closed the head. Okay, so no problem. After closing the head, I can write here body. Which was missing. Thereafter, I will go down. Here I should end the body, not here. I should go down and I should close before HTML your form is closed then I can close here 
body by writing slash body and then I should write here slash HTML which I have forgotten let's go ahead <coughs> let's check once again if there are any errors given a title here head tag is closed here body started script language is equal to javascript we have written then we have written function sum 10 i is also there total is there total is defined as zero then i am writing that i am starting my loop so this message will be shown to you first 10 natural numbers are then the loop starts with one will go up till 10 and will do i plus plus every time the loop is incremented by one first i is generated and added to total and will be stored in a total then it will display the number one here then the loop is closed every time this loop will go on executing and generating 10 values and adding it to the total thereafter the document dot write br will take me to the next line after the loop is over it will print the sum with a message and a total variable near it and the script is closed thereafter i will start here body part which i already assigned up font size 7 title is to be given here the form name is not required because i am not collecting any value so i require only a button here you should not leave a space after this input type equal to button then click sum of 10 natural numbers and on click i am writing here sum 10 now dear students instead of on click here if you can write on mouse over the program will generate the same output but the event is changed first we will see on click c on for on click the c must be capital here and then I will save this. Now let us execute this program. Here I go. Click here. The 10 numbers are generated and the sum of the numbers are 55. You can very well check. Dear students, now the question can be changed here. Since there is a time constraint and you are now about to go for your exam. I will do the sum change into the same program and I will show you how the mouse over program will work. The code will be written in the same manner. Only the event name will be changed here. Instead of on click, I can write here on mouse over. And dear students, now you are able and equipped with the another program. You would have given a different title to this program. You can say save as. I am writing here suppose save as. Sum 10 mouse over. Dot HTML. I changed the name. Saved it. Closed. I'll just look for the mouse over program. Go ahead, execute the part. Now, as if I go here, see, the loop has given me the answer. So here, I've shown you how to write a program on mouse over event and on the click event. So there are two different questions can be made out of this. I hope students, now you are very clear and you was having a fear and question marks, many more question marks in your mind. I hope so. I am able to solve all those question marks. Please rate us. Give your feedback. How was the video? Was helpful for you or not? I hope so. There is a positive reply from your side. Thank you very much.